morning everybody here in Fargo North Dakota Just got our coffee did our pre-trip keeping a close eye on my engine the oil level is still at the top the only problem is that uh, I did see some oil going uh, going out the blowout valve or the blow by I may say that that's where it was leaking from before too and I, it comes out of there when there's too much pressure in the engine right and instead of wrecking the engine it'll blow past and out the blow blow past valve I'm not a mechanic so I don't know how to explain everything in the most technical terms uh, but I know what they do there's a little bit of oil coming out of there but we did just get a service job so We'll give it some time and see what happens. So get onto the road here and we'll uh, be on our way. We still have three hours to get to our customer.
eventually it'll happen. The only way to guarantee you're not going to get a home run in life, though, is if you stop swinging. We're starting to get closer here. we got about another half hour to go. These lumber loads that I take down to Minnesota, Wisconsin, they're pretty much just to get me down to the area. The reason I'm down here is for that next load that I have waiting for me in Owatonna. Or Owatonna. However you pronounce it. That's the reason I'm down here. Bringing a load of lumber down is a little better than just coming down empty. At least the lumber pays for the fuel. Might throw me a little bit of spare change on the side, but... Like I said, better than pulling the trailer down empty. So once we get this lumber off the trailer, it shouldn't take too long. I think it's about two and a half hours to Owatonna, which is just south of Minneapolis. And then they gotta load the glass. That usually takes at least four hours, at least. And then I have to tarp it yet, which takes about another hour and a half or so. But I have to do a lot of waiting when I get there too. So the shortest I have ever been there to reload was six hours. That was the fastest in and out, six hours. The longest time was not too long ago, that video that got like almost 30,000 views in the first week, I think it was. It took 11 and a half hours to load me. And if I would have known it was gonna take that long, I would have just gone to sleep so I could start my day, right? Not making that mistake again. It's gonna take a while, I'm just going to sleep. Britt's side of the family has a family gathering or family get together thing tomorrow. And I'd like to be there for it. It's like a mid afternoon get together for late lunch or early supper. But it's nine hours from where I'm loading. It's almost a full day. Just being unloaded right now. I'll put you guys down in there. I think they got about, uh, they got three more lifts to take off yet. It's right there. That was a quick and painless delivery. Lumber is usually pretty quick. There's not much to it. You just take it off Turn the trailer. First Avenue Southwest. Park in the middle of the lot and they do the rest. I only had a few lifts on there. All right, so I'm supposed to turn left here now? Okay. I checked out all the available routes. Okay, who's got stop signs here? These small towns, all these small towns in this area here only have two-way stops. And then I don't know if it's a four-way stop. I mean, usually it says on the sign, right? But you don't want to just assume. Sometimes that four-way four sign has fallen off. It's hard to get onto these roads because there's quite a bit of traffic for these little farm communities. All right, after this, here we go. At least that SUV there waited for me. Very often people just floor it and cut me off because they want to go, <laughs> even though I was at the intersection first. All right, let's get going.
Well, it's the next morning right now. It was a late night again. Ugh. But it didn't actually take that long to get loaded. Instead of having the glass in wooden crates, it's in metal frames, which is great. It was really fast to load it this way and much easier to tarp it. The only thing is, I'll show you these crates once I deliver them to British Columbia because they're under the tarp right now. And I'll show you the load yet, uh, just in a little while. But uh, the tarps or, or the crates have these like sharp points that come up on each end, on all four corners of each one. And I have one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven or twelve of those crates. So I had to make sure that the I put something on top of those like sharp pillars, I guess you'd call them, so that they don't rip through my tarps. So that was the only inconvenient thing. But other than that, it actually turned out pretty well, and I got out of there pretty quick. I got there at about what was it six o'clock around supper? What was it seven? I think it might have been close to seven. Yeah, and I was done at midnight. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's five hours. That's a record. Because six hours was the record before that. But at the same time, I only had 30 minutes left on my clock to keep going after that. So I just parked right there at the shipper and slept there overnight. And now we're on our way again. Uh, I was pretty tired and I just wanted to get as much sleep as possible because I'm trying to rush home today to get to a family gathering on Brit's side. I'd really like to be there to see everybody, but it looks like I'm not going to make it. Uh, I might make it for the tail end of it. I don't even know if it'd be worth it for me to show up at that point then yet. <sighs> We'll see. But at least I'll get to go home tonight, see Britt, and I'll be home for most of the day tomorrow, and then tomorrow evening or afternoon, we're gonna leave towards Surrey, British Columbia, with this load, and it'll take us two and a half days to get there. I could do it in two long days, but I'm gonna take my time a little bit more and leave a little earlier, just in case if there's snowstorms on the way. There's supposed to be a snowstorm rolling into Minnesota here today. Uh, they're supposed to get over a foot of snow. And this was filmed on, uh, the 9th, so March 9th, so you guys can let me know how bad it was when you watch this, because you'll probably watch this about a week later. My videos are approximately a week behind. Uh, it just gives me time to edit them all. When you edit every single day and make a video every single day, it, it takes a lot of time, and I don't have time to edit every day. Some days I've just got to get the load to where it needs to go. So then I edit them on my spare time and my off time throughout the week, and that way it makes it a lot easier on me. I really do wish I could like release them as soon as it happens, because that would make the most sense, but... I tried that. I've been doing this for, what, seven years now every day, or close to seven, six years, something like that. <clears throat> and I've tried doing next day vlogs, and if you're not doing this, like, YouTube full-time as your job, it's very difficult. Very Because I still got to manage all of this. I got to manage my whole life yet. I'm running a business here. I own this truck, and I got to get these loads to where they need to get to. I'm bound by a clock by the law, so I have to get all my work done that I can within a certain amount of time and then I have some time off and then I can edit videos if I have time but usually after that I'm tired and I want to go to bed so I go to bed and sleep and then I end up having to edit a lot of these at home when I get home on the weekends or whenever I end up there so uh it's just been working a lot better for me this way and this is sort of the way I've always done it since the beginning so if you're unaware of that yeah these videos are a little bit behind but there's supposed to be a snowstorm rolling into the Minnesota area here it's starting to snow just a little bit just a little bit and I want to get out of here before it really comes in it's supposed to start at three o'clock and it's 12 30 right now so two and a half hours to get our butts out of here I have to end this vlog here though because I have to start tomorrow's because if I just keep talking there's gonna be no vlog for tomorrow so I'll see you then don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already decent decent that was an f-150 90s model not bad what i was saying is subscribe hit that like button go down to the description of my videos there's links to all our social media down there my wife's channel all her social media as well i'll see you guys tomorrow thanks for watching